I'm, I'm not the degenerate. I'm not the novice. I'm in between. I walk into this arena. Where do I go in April? Where would I go to? Oh, to I don't wager? think it'll happen as soon as April on what you'll do here. But the vision would be that we would take our building okay. and reimagine it instead of it being a building that opens at six at night and closes at 10 o'clock. We pay for this building 24 hours a day and we have a cage up. We don't want anybody to go into the building. It's really remarkable. As opposed to when you go to Las Vegas and you're in a casino and they keep it open 24 hours a day, they're pumping in oxygen, right? Keep they want way. you, keep want you there. Cold. No windows, you don't know what time it is, no clocks. So we would like to reimagine the arena and take a big piece of real estate and then partner with someone who is great at developing what's called a sports book, but then the environment around that, someone who would construct and build a beautiful restaurant with fine food and high fidelity of bandwidth to deliver the information and lots of big screens and and would subscribe and you'd be watching rugby games and there'd be soccer games and there'd be tennis matches and maybe someone would actually like to come in here and have lunch and watch a game and be with their friends and make some bets that that that's Upstairs. how we see it um, we'll have to find yeah. where, where the real estate is. We will never touch the money. We won't be in the yeah. gambling business. That would be bad form and a conflict. So my belief from a business standpoint, it's great. I also think that um, it generates tax revenue, which our city needs, and it can apply those tax dollars to low-income in housing, for education, wh whatever yeah. it wants to do. It creates jobs. And as a business leader, that's one of the ways that I measure myself. Are we growing?